Hey all, welcome to the Nostalgia Critique. Welcome. That where you trade in your games and we'll talk about them at your face for a little bit and possibly give you money for it. So everybody pays their credit these days. It sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the back room. I'm looking up trading value. What, what do you guys got over there? What are we looking at today? Well, we actually got a, a special game that's like we got 20, 20 years old, actually, oh uh, about God. a month ago. Halo Combat Evolved. Yeah. For the hate for the Xbox. This was Combat Evolved. Oh, shit. Not just typical Goldeneye. This is where you had two thumbsticks to actually move the camera around. In comparison to Goldeneye, we only had one, and then you had C buttons. That's where them would come. Yeah, with Goldeneye. Yeah, I agree with that. Oh my god. Yeah. So when I'm looking at the the value over here. The actual trade in value? Yeah. What, what do you guys think it is? What, what would be your guess? Oh, Jesus. Uh, $23. Right now, I guess I would. $30? This Final is the price answers? is right. Final right. answers? Final answers. Yeah, this is, this is the price is right, right? Whoever gets like, if we're over, then. Yeah, it, wait, what is the price of right rules? What, how does that actually work? Uh, uh, whoever's it, the closest. <laughs> well, if, if you're over, if you're over, though, if you're over the, okay. uh, yeah, you the actual want, amount you lose. So. The actual technique is to always wait for a dollar more or less than the person oh, to the left of you. Or the righty. <laughs> What'd you get again? What'd you get? Me, I said $23. 23 or 1. Okay. 23 or 1. So, so, <laughs> so when I look at it online, you'd be surprised. It's anywhere from nine to ninety-five dollars. Ninety-five dollars. It, mo for the most part, they're selling the first one and the second one together for twenty-three bucks. Oh well, bucks. that's that's huh. the thing. Yeah, that's yeah wild. So, so it's about like nine bucks. This is going for. So mm -hmm. ninety-three dollars is like brand new, wrapped up, not touched, not even breathed on yet. I actually found a nine dollar one that was also not touched or wow. not. Wow! <laughs> Wait, really? Nine dollars? Oh my god! Yeah, nine bucks. <laughs> well, then why is somebody selling it for ninety three? Was it made by like, what's his name of Microsoft himself? I think it's Elon Musk just Elon trying to get Musk. rid of his shit. Damn it! <laughs> he like farted Classic. on it for ninety dollars. <laughs> Yeah, I blew a I blew a gust of wind on this yeah. game, and I I signed it. I had nothing to do with the production, but I signed it, so like, it's worth ninety five bucks. I gave this game butterfly kisses, or however he talks, <laughs> because he doesn't talk like a human. Sometimes he talks like with a little bit of an accent that's sexy. I can't believe it was way off though. I thought it was gonna be like thirty <laughs> bucks maybe, even for used copy. But like, I guess there's a lot of copies lying around right now, so. I can't be too surprised, especially we have all the remasters out right yeah. now, and um, you know you can probably get your hands on like you don't even need the physical copy if you want. You can get like a digital yeah. copy on Xbox One if you if you so pleased to, you know. That's the trick, everybody. Wait twenty years to buy a game, you get it for nine dollars. Well, how much did we give this guy for this copy? Uh, shit, it's irrelevant. Irre 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 don't, don't say irre 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 irrelevant. <laughs> irrelevant. You say fifteen bucks? We give him fifteen bucks for a nine dollar game? No. Yeah, it wasn't fifteen dollars. That's what happens when you have somebody that doesn't know prices of games give out money. I'm, I'm right. You you can message me before you you fucking give him the Sorry. trade. Sorry, I always forget the. He was in a banker. rush, though. He was in a rush. You can't, I mean, I'm terrible. Let's I want a copy deal. of it. So what do you want me to do? You guys, you guys play Halo before? When was the first oh time you guys God. played Halo? Oh yeah. Um, do you want to go first? Me. Yeah. Alex. <laughs> All right, let's see. I probably played it when I was 14 for the first time, and I was blown away by it. I was like, this is probably the coolest game I'm ever going to play ever in my life. And then there was plenty of other pretty cool games that came out later on that I had just as much enjoyment with. But damn, do I still love Halo a lot. Yeah, I guess the first time I played it, um, funny enough, I was at my friend's house. Well, not really funny enough, but either way, I played at my friend's <laughs> oh house. Oh my god! <laughs> I know, it's so funny. Well, I played at my it's friend's house. <laughs> Thank you. You guys got the joke, finally, God. All right. Well, anyway, so, the, I mean, the first time I played was, uh, I don't know, it was at my friend's house back in, like, you know, I would say 2002, not even when it came out, 2002, 2003. Um, he just had the game. I was like, you know, let's give it a shot. Um, played co-op with him, which was like the, the big part like mm -hmm. of that game. And, you know, got really hooked on it since then. Um, it's good memories back then. Yeah, so. I, funny, funny enough, <laughs> the first time I played it was also not me owning it. Wow. I was at my, yeah. my cousin's house in, in uh, New York City. It was Manhattan. And I walked downstairs the only other game that we like played frequently with him was like the Shrek 
party game or whatever. Oh. <laughs> so mm-hmm. that was, I'd go downstairs, we'd play Shrek. And today I was like, yo, we going to play Shrek today? He goes, actually, I was Not playing deep. this other game recently. I'm like, oh, shit, like, what is it? Then he takes a gun, shoots a guy, kills him on the floor, and starts beating him, and blood doesn't stop coming out. He's, like, <laughs> beating him on the floor and, like, splatter, splatter, splatter. And Damn. I was like, this game is fucking awesome. What is it? <laughs> and he's like, Halo. <laughs> oh, my God. So I guess we can talk. I don't know if you want to talk about the title. What what, this, what does Halo actually mean exactly? It's a big old cock ring in space. Oh, I guess you want to call it a cock ring. That's I guess, got little STDs that infect people. I guess known as a the flood. Co- it is a space cock ring. You're right. You're actually. Yeah. You're, you're right. You're right. It's a space STD. It's like a space diaphragm, essentially. Well, I guess you know. I guess to put it in layman's terms, or like you know, best way to describe it, Halo is basically a destructible weapon. Damn. That basically destroys every humanity. It's basically a mass weapon that yeah. destroyed everything in its path. And the reason why was because of the enemies that, like, the Flood. You know, that was one of the, um, the big, I guess, one of the, uh, well, two of one of the enemies. I guess one's the Covenant, one's the, the Flood. And, you know, it's basically the purpose of Halo was to destroy every, the, their food source, which is the humans and the Covenant, all life forms, to, and kills off the Flood, because that's how they live. It's crazy, because it's technically, you think you're playing, like, an alien shoot 'em up or FPS. Mm-hmm. And then it turns into, like, a zombie apocalypse game because everybody's getting True. infected by the flood. So it's got, like, a little horror factor to it. As well as sci-fi because then you have the Sentinels attacking you as well. And the Sentinels have a dubious secret themselves. Hoi oh. the lolly! What's the secret? Do you know? No. Oh, oh man, no. I think it's still so I don't want to spoil a 20-year-old game for anybody. <laughs> yeah, Because, you know, there are people that don't like spoilers. But those who do, the Sentinels are bad. I well, think my, the first time I went through the story, I, I had a very similar like kind of view, where you, you're going through it, you're riding on the Warthog, you're driving around, you're like, whoa, this is so cool, Like, mm. I get to explore this different area, I get to drive around, it's very unique. And then all of a sudden mm-hmm. you're in like, this closed space, yeah. you got these tiny guys coming at mm-hmm. you. The, the music changes, the atmosphere changes, and then all of a sudden you're playing like a spookier kind of game. Yeah, it's like a creepy pasta before those are even a thing. It's true. I mean, uh, like I said, you just brought up another point, like too, the music. It's definitely outstanding. Like, especially back back mm. then, like you know, it has that memorable theme song that everyone like hears and they know what it's from, and that's how you make a good theme song for you know a series, I guess you could say. So oh um, God, that's what yeah. I want to point out. Um, and like another great thing about this whole thing was like, you know, before that we had like, you know, gold, like on consoles, like PC mm-hmm. had like, you know, they, they were the king of the FPS. They had like Half-Life 2, they had Doom, they had, you know, Duke Nukem, all that stuff. And what, what did the consoles have? Basically N64, they had, you know, Goldeneye, mm-hmm. Perfect Dark yep. or whatever, but it's... The South Park is shooting game where you get snowballs. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about <laughs> But they don't even play as good. Like if you, if you play Halo and oh, any even man. current uh, modern games you go back to Goldeneye mm. and Perfect Dark or whatever like anything in S64 for example yeah it doesn't hold up nah it's just I mean you still enjoy it it still has that nostalgia factor just you have to go back to like primitive controls it's a lot more difficult to handle in comparison to having two thumbsticks mm-hmm. like the two thumbsticks I feel was revolutionary for its time even though now everything you can't imagine a controller without having two thumbsticks to play a shooting game back in the day when you had one you were lucky to have that one because you had that and deep hit <laughs> Yeah, back in the That's day, true, you, yeah. you had to use the the, yeah. the the little C. It wasn't a stick; yeah. it was like a yeah, C. Yeah, C button. Yeah, that and you had to like use up, up down and yep. stuff to aim. So the same thing that you play an ocarina with an ocarina at a time is the same thing you use to aim up and down in a <laughs> golden eye game. Yeah. Crazy. That's true, yeah. So when they called it Halo Combat Evolved, it was really like yeah, they setting a standard for like games to, to move forward. Oh my god! What was yeah. it? What were the controls like on on Doom? It was it must have been similar on like the Doom. I feel like was just you aim forward. That was pretty much it. You're constantly forward for the most part. Yeah, was there, 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 there was there was no upward like Mm-mm. you know because this one there no. was no you don't aim upwards or downwards. I think it was just like no. either forward. I think you turn. Don't you turn right or whatever? Like you. Yeah, kind of yeah they, right. they have turning for sure, but mm-hmm. I, you're right. It's like that standard. There's no, there's no uh, Y or X. Like there's no, like mm-hmm. there's no, like you no. go upwards or like, downwards, like or up, like to the corner. It's literally just like you know, 
uh, four, like, any, like anything in front of you, shoot. Same okay. thing with yeah. like Wolfenstein and stuff like yep. that. You know, those, That's a good game too. That was pretty much it. You were at the whim of turning left or right and hoping that you turn just enough, like in a quick amount of time to attack what's like hitting you in the back or whatever and causing mm -hmm. damage. Unless you're playing Goldeneye where you could also do that janky aim where you press yeah. like the you right hold, trigger the and then, <laughs> and then yeah. you're using yeah. the yeah. yeah, yeah. thumbstick mm -hmm. to aim and it's like <laughs> You know, I still think Halo still holds up to this day. I mean, oh, the graphics God, yeah. are the graphics are a little outdated, but it's not as bad as you think it is. Like, mm -hmm. like I'm gonna compare it to N sixty four again. Like, if you see like how different, like you know, like I said, like you play Super Mario sixty four, like I don't know, it just doesn't like the graphics don't hold up as well, unfortunately. But oh man, but Super Mario sixty four is still so much fun to play. Oh yeah, I'm not saying it's yeah. not. I'm just saying that stuff is it just looks so outdated yeah, compared to this right now. You have the blocky characters and everything like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like, mm, man, those were the days back when a circle was an octagon. Yeah. Yeah, for the most part, like when it comes to like 2D games, you, you look back and it, it, it's exactly how you remember it, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's not more, you don't have like nostalgia filter on it. I feel like Halo, even when you go back and you play like the Chief Collection, it looks how you remember it. It's mm. not like, oh man, I remember it looking better. It's like, yeah, no, no, this is this is how no, it this was. This is exactly it. Well, yeah. yeah. The funny thing is, if you compare both, you can actually in the Master Chief Collection for the Xbox One, uh, you know, whatever, and you can actually like toggle the mm -hmm. graphics yeah, to the sick. new the new style and the old style, and it's like that with the Halo Two as well, which is actually approved even a lot more, which is crazy. But, um, Just, yeah. When toggling to the updated graphics, though, I feel like it drops the frame rate for like the Warthog's machine gun on it, the turret. Mm -hmm. And some of the characters start looking pukey and gross. Yeah, that's <laughs> a little weird. It's just yeah. like, hmm. That's a nice way of putting it, I guess. Yeah. Talk about an upgrade. <laughs> but it does look nice. <laughs> Not the shit on it. It does look good. Mm -hmm. Hey. I think it also partially, like, the, the reason I prefer the original, too, and like original graphics is. I, they knew what they were doing with atmosphere. Mm. So like you hop into Halo and, and each environment with the music and everything else has like a certain atmosphere. When you go to like the HD graphics, some of it just looks more like just mechanical. Yeah, generic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Generic spaceship. So, yeah. So, so something's really cool about still having that old look. Mm. I mean, one thing too, I, I think I still remember from back, back then with Halo is... I mean, it's the first of the series, but I think my, my one of my gripes with the game was how you navigate through, um, you know, the missions. I guess there was really there was no markers. Like there were, or, there were markers, but there were like it was like yeah, rare instances of markers. Yeah, they, they weren't. And you holding get your hand. Yeah, and they, you get confused. Like, oh, where do I go? Where do I go? And like you probably wander for like maybe five minutes, maybe to see where the hell you have to go next. Mm -hmm. And like, oh, you're going the wrong way. I used to go back to where you were before, and you know, go that way. So it's. You know, that that also happened to me, like, when I went back to play Kingdom Hearts 1, mm. and, and huh. I, I was, like, exploring the environments and stuff, I didn't realize how much you could actually get lost and how much they don't spell out stuff for you in terms of, like, where to go True, next and yeah. what to do. But yeah, Halo's definitely like that, too, where sometimes you'd be driving around doing different areas, but you get lost in, like, the having fun and doing stuff until you're like, there's no more fucking people, who am I shooting, what am I doing? <laughs> It's crazy. It seems like it's more of like a problem as you get older for some reason. Because I remember <laughs> having that problem as a kid. I remember like navigating through stuff a lot easier than like when we were playing it earlier. It's like some of the stuff just looks so similar that you can't... Or like there's a platform that you don't even realize is it's got like another portion to it. It looks like it may be a dead drop, which there's a lot in Halo. Mm. But then you move a little bit forward, it's like a little trick of the eye, where, where it's like, all right, there, there's an actual slope there. Mm. I got to go down that way. Yeah, it was, uh, maybe that's where the nostalgia filter comes in. It's not with the graphics or how it looks or felt, mm. but it's it's getting lost yeah. in shit. Yeah. We just don't remember getting lost as much. That's the thing that's frustrating. Yeah, because like again, as a kid, I swear I remember beating this stuff a lot quicker than. Like, mm -hmm. as we were going oh, through yeah. it. And not dying as much, either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think the nostalgia factor for me is just the, the co-op with the campaign missions. Just both of those. Um, that's, like, one of the biggest things I remember about the game. Like, just at least the first, at least the, you know, the first trilogy, even in general. Like, 
there's yeah multiplayer too, but like the co-op itself is just like you play a story with your friends and just you know just being the whole game with other people, I guess. You know? Yeah, I think that's uh, how most people experience this game was uh, initially with co-op, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody here at least. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yep, yep, yep. It's funny that we all played it at another friend's house before we even got it. Like we <laughs> yeah. didn't know what the hell well, Halo was. To be fair, I never actually, <laughs> actually never got the game until the Halo Master Chief Collection. So, really? Actually, actually, you never had the first one. That's a lie. Halo Combat Evolved, the Anniversary Edition, came out for the mm-hmm. Xbox 360. I got that. Uh, it stopped working, you know, some... I guess it, this got scratched, so... Damn. could never work, so... Until that, the Master Chief Clash came out, I started playing it again, so... Mm. But yeah. You could get it for... Actually, you have it now, but you could get it for nine ninety nine on eBay if you I'll want. I'll buy... I'll, you know, <laughs> just take the store I'll, copy. I'll, I'll buy this copy. I'll, I'll probably end up doing that, honestly. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it to you. I won't tell the boss. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, oh okay. Ish. Yeah, he's kind of a grump anyway, so. Um, do you guys remember any missions from that game? Like, what, what, do you have, like, what's your favorite mission, like, or something you remember, like, that you, s- sticks out to you? I always like the flood missions. Okay. I always thought that they were cool, because I always like that horror factor of the game. And yeah, plus, was, yeah. Plus, being a huge Resident Evil fan, that was, like, awesome once that came in. It's like, oh, wow, cool! Like a little zombie apocalypse. You know what? Actually, so this is probably not like this is unpopular opinion maybe, but like I'm not a huge fan of the. Fl- I mean, yeah, not a huge fan like of the flood, flood missions. The flood missions. I'm gonna say, just because sometimes it gets like kind of slow and drags on a little bit to me, and like um, that's just like my personal opinion. I mean, there are some missions that are still fun with the flood, but like. Hey. I just remember with the first one that like I remember the library uh, mission. Mm. That just I felt that dragged on for so long. Like you're yeah. walking like when the hell is this mission yeah. gonna end? Like it's like the same corridor you're walking over and over again. And like yeah. got the stupid like that uh, guilty sparks guy just you oh, fall yeah. around and stuff yeah. and humming around and shit. And like <laughs> I don't know. Like I mean that was just like I, w- I when I was played as a kid and even like now I still kind of get like mm. I'm like I wish this mission was over, but. Mm. I mean, if I go back to my favorite mission, though, it's got to be the song Cart- Cartographer. Mm-hmm. I'll just like the way how you start the mission with a bunch of Marines. You just invade this, like, you start ambushing, like, this, um, uh, I guess, camp, like, you, like where the Covenant t- took place and just, like, start just messing shit up. Mm. Like, I personally like that one. And the music starts, like, last in the beginning, too. It gets you all pumped up, you know? Mm. I think my favorite mission would have to be probably like the final mission, the Maw. That's a good one too. too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, Just, Escape from the Damn Ring was too. kind of a yeah. pain, but whatever. Just because it's kind of like that's where everything is thrown at you. I mean, mm-hmm. that's why I like about the Flood missions is because it's kind of nerve wracking, and you're always like have to keep an eye on your back because the once the flood is around, there are those big old booming ones that <laughs> release the little like seedlings. Then they are they're able to infect like everything, <laughs> so it's like you never know what's gonna pop up at you. Oh, so, totally. Yeah. So even like Dead Covenant could come back. Mm-hmm. Alex, fair mission. Yeah. So to to me, I I guess because I haven't played recently, but uh, like when I remember the game, I remembered like the moments mm-hmm. more so than the actual mission. Like the the beach gotcha. mission you were playing too. I was like, yo, this is I used to love hopping in the water because mm-hmm. back then like. Water in games is not mm. something you could stand in without dying. Mm. So I'd hop into the water, I'd throw a sticky grenade to my leg, and I would jump. And I would see how far my body went. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, wow, yeah. <laughs> so it's like the moments like that. Like, get, getting in a vehicle for the first time was, like, sick. Mm. Yeah, seeing the banshees fly around for the first time, like, mm-hmm. those moments. Seeing the flood for the first time was, like, one of my favorite moments of the game. And then uh, the last mission, there's also uh, <laughs> another spot where it's, like, they spawn you in front of like this big wide open area right behind you. And if you jump and throw a sticky on your leg, you go so fucking far. And I used to oh, do wow. that for like a good 10, 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> spawn in, throw the nade, and like jump. That was like, it was so fun. Yeah, there were a lot of glitches in that game that you can mm. exploit. Even like, you know, the whole trilogy, I guess, that were like, you can exploit certain missions or like you can skip things like Halo 2 had the Scarab gun, which is pretty cool. Like how you get that gun and like it's like a really powerful weapon. Apparently that's like they hide it like, I don't know, like out of bounds or whatever, which is pretty awesome. Um, I guess another thing I remember too about the game that's like I I mean, like, like I said, co-op is like the top one, but like the multiplayer, just like playing like land with your friends or whatever, like. Mm-hmm. 
Like, I used to bring my, like, you know, I know, like, I used to actually, I think I did this once where I released it once or twice. Like, I actually, they had, like, a LAN party where people had the Xboxes set up and just play Halo. Like, mm-hmm. the, the first original game before the second one came out, which was, like, it was definitely fun doing that. I remember that. Like, I don't know if you guys had your own LAN parties, but I don't know. Yeah, it was actually a few times because uh, a lot of people would come to our house, bring their Xbox, bring some wires, and, and we'd play in the basement. It was a lot of fun, man. Mm-hmm. The, I think those those times are crazy. Because we also, we didn't have uh, Xbox Live Mm-mm. until, like, way later. So, mm-hmm. like, e- even personally, when they did release Xbox Live, my parents were like, I'm not paying for that shit, you <coughs> know? They so. had $50 annually? Fuck that. Was it really $50 back then? Yeah, it was still oh, a good shit. amount of money, I think. I forgot how much it was. It was so long ago, so... I just remember my parents being like, new. <laughs> that was the case. Absolutely it, not. That was the case. They didn't go up that much, honestly. I think it was, like, $60 a year or whatever. Mm. It's like, god damn. Now the Game Pass was even better, mm. but you can actually play the Halo game on there. So, yeah, Game Pass is legitimately sick, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, uh, not not to spoil the kind of gamer I am, but I like prefer yeah. PlayStation. I play mm. uh, not like Ooh, both are serious. cool. Both are cool, <laughs> but like I find myself playing PlayStation a lot more than I mm-hmm. do like booting up my Xbox. Mm. And like from that scenario, when I booted up Xbox and they're like, "Hey, here's Game Pass," I was like, "This is." something PlayStation doesn't have mm-hmm. and it's really 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 fucking cool oh totally yeah I mean I, I think that's one thing with the Game Pass I, like, I haven't played Xbox in I mean I haven't well at least a few years ago, a few years ago I haven't played Xbox in a while they just was, like I started playing Game Pass because they had like a dollar was it for three months I think at the time and I was like you know might as well try it and like they all these games like you know honestly like Game Pass alone is like worth it you know like it's just I don't know mm-hmm. I guess we're going off the track here with that but <laughs> yeah Matt, yeah, but, Matt why on. do you keep staring at the front door and not at Mark? Oh, he, he's looking. a dormant. He's a dormant clear. He's <laughs> That's like, very strange. Giving you the cold shoulder. Yeah. Sorry, really. <laughs> Almost this whole time, you're staring at the front Dang. door. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's because I'm keeping an eye on customers. <laughs> yeah, true. It's good of you. Good of you. Keeping a keen eye. <laughs> you better believe it. Yeah, I'm keeping the customers. Would they, you guys believe that uh, until you guys played with Skulls today, I had never played uh, Halo campaign at all with skulls i didn't wow. even know it was what? a thing Not even drunk birthday <laughs> like, party? I, I knew they existed never got them never used them do you want to know a secret i don't think skulls were in the first day look ah. <laughs> I, I don't think so either honestly. Yeah. i think it started in the second one yeah exactly yeah, um, that's... with certain skulls i don't think they had grunt birthday parties for the third one no is... i swear they had grunt birthday party in the second one did they really i'm pretty certain that's actually where they had the confetti huh. in their heads and everything that was like the startup of it, and that was, I think, where my love of grunt birthday party came to exist. I mean, it's the best thing. It's like hooray, and yeah. like the confetti explodes, and it's like it's just man funny. It's just like they have this stupid little thing, but it's like yeah, it's funny. It just makes it fun. It just makes it. It just makes it like a better experience. I don't know why. It's just it's, it's hilarious. Like, Playing Goldeneye with paintball mode. It's like the, oh, yeah. the little things that you can do that makes the game really fun. I wish games did that still, but it's like it seems like it'd be more rare and rare, I guess, nowadays. But yeah, I don't mean, know. I wish more. Yeah, God, I wish more games did that. But it seems like the main games that do that are like Grand Theft Auto. Like there's always the codes that you can uh, put in and stuff like I, that. Like the mm. the Batman games, almost all the Arkham games did like a, it's called Big Head mode. Mm. Like games used to have that a lot. DK mode. Oh my god, it was, yeah. cold. it was cold on cold night. It was called yeah. DK mode because of yeah. Donkey Kong, which is yeah. great. It was so funny. I used to do that all the time with paintball mode. Mm. Also, I have another story about the Halo series that mm. it's pretty wild. Do you tell? Uh, so even with Halo Two, I didn't know like you could get skulls or use them. I just knew mm. they existed. I didn't know like what they were, or what they did, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, my brother hates Halo. Yeah, I remember <laughs> that because he would definitely be vocal about it. Yeah. So because because he hates it so much. Uh, we never got past Halo Two. We never like we Dang. beat oh. we beat the game, but he never. My parents were like, "Oh, we're not getting Halo Three. Like mm-hmm. Tony doesn't like the game," <laughs> and I was like, "Oh crap!" Because it was like also what M rated, and I was a little younger than him, so mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, you can't get that. It's the dumb." Yeah, it is M rated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so like um, basically because of that. I hadn't played the any of the Halos past two until like mm-hmm. literally Gianna. Me and Gianna Dang. played Halo Three together nice. for the first time. Yeah, so so it was. Uh, Gianna was disappointed in me. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I think I constantly played that uh, that campaign all the time and um, would play like certain missions a lot and do co op and it was just a lot of fun and doing like land parties too. 
at my grandparents' house, play LAN parties all the time with them, and you know, it was it was like it was a lot of fun. So they had a demo version for the PC back then, and thankfully my 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 parents' computer actually was able to be able to play that game. So I played the PC constantly over and over right. again, which kind of played by, which is probably why I guess my favorite mission is to sound car, uh, cartographers because that's the the level you play for the demo. Any other stories you guys have of the, of the game or playing it at the time, mm. or at least the first one? First one, not really. Besides Xbox Connect, Xbox Connect was the only way that you could really play online with other people. Download a program, mm -hmm. get a router, throw an Ethernet cable into that sucker, and slap it into the back of the Xbox, and then go to town. <laughs> and that was free, completely free. And the cool thing about Xbox Connect was that it wasn't just for Halo. You could honestly play all other games on it. So anything mm -hmm. that you could play online, you would be able to play on there. Capture the flag on Blood Gulch. <laughs> That's right. Another thing they had too is capture flag. I completely forgot yeah. about that. Capture the flag. That was a that was a fun game. They had a lot of game modes actually. Well, how many for the original one? Did they have? They didn't have that much, did they? Or no? They had stuff like they had shotguns on lockout and stuff. Oh, like, okay. And people would come up with their own game modes. So like we would also do like a hide and seek game mode and stuff like that, where we <laughs> would just walk around and hide in a certain spot of the level. And then we'd try and find the pe like the person, and we would set a timer up. And so if the per the people weren't found at the by the time the you know the timer was up, then that's it. You won. So we would designate a person to be the seeker, and then that would be it. Nah, I don't know. That it's was like a Harry cool. Potter Quidditch match. He's yeah. called a seeker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember Capture Flag being like my. I remember like that. That game was like a lot of fun to play. I think. Yeah. Oh my oh god. god. I don't know if anyone. I don't think a game had that before, did it or? At least Capture the Flag at least did something similar to that. I don't know. Did any other game... That's a good question. I'm I not feel, sure. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, like, other games had it. I don't know. Definitely Tony that's the one that sticks up. Sticks out the most. Yeah, like, Tony Hawk did kind of have, like, Capture the Flag mode. Or, well, like, the one where you would bump into each other and that would be it. Yeah, like, have a, to... like a tag yeah. mode. Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. Well, that's a little different. I guess you, one's, like, you bring it back to the base and, like... Bring the, you gotta capture the flag from the base and come back oh, to your the base. The other one, you're a greased up deaf guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta catch him. You're gonna catch me. <laughs> yeah, I think most of my multiplayer experience with it was with Halo 2. Mm. We didn't really play Halo Agreed, right? yes. Yeah. yeah, I would say the same thing. Like I said, my first Halo game, that, first Halo, I mean, the first game I bought for the Xbox was that. I mm. overplayed that game. Plus, I guess both Halo 3 and Halo 3, the multiplayer mm. beta. Mm. That came with Crackdown. I don't know if anyone played that. Oh my what? god, I remember anyone? Crackdown. Yeah, Crackdown crap. was sick. Oh my god, playing that, like, because I only, like I said, I'm pretty sure if you ask everyone who got Crackdown why they got it, Halo 3 multiplayer beta. Mm. That was why. I mean, I feel like most people said it, but turned out Crackdown was a good game too, so mm. you did get your money's worth for that. But yeah. Yeah, it's like, those are like my memory uh, for the multiplayer experience for the Halo games, I guess, in general. But yeah. You guys want to take that game home and start playing it? Yeah. Hell yeah, I, I already wait. I already game. have it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. This is fine. You guys want to play the collection and pretend it's the first one? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can yeah. do that too. Yeah, that's the first too. <laughs> We're gonna go play that video game now. Yeah, let's yeah. clock out, baby. Okay. Yeah. yeah Peace that. out. Clocking out. We're getting paid. I don't know. <laughs> I hope the boss is no They're man. fucking paying you. Oh, in gum. <laughs> <laughs>